Africa is, I hate, um, excuse me when I say this, uh, everyone is poor and everyone is sick. Wow. Like, so. What sickness? Uh, HIV. What? I mean, <laughs> as long as they keep fighting for themselves and not everybody else, stop fighting for everybody else. Fight for yourself, Africans. Fight for yourself. Everybody else can kiss your ass. Twin Today we're in Miami, baby. I'm going to Miami. And I'm gonna be asking guys, I'm gonna be asking Americans what they think of Africa. So come with me, let's see what's up. Hey. other country so you know you gotta love it gotcha. you know um personally i'd actually move back to africa really so, yeah definitely which country would you want to move to uh nigeria Ooh, that's, what's up. <laughs> that's nigeria right there it already know nigeria i don't remember who was saying it but they were saying like um since they're running us from the country so bad you know like why not just move back there and just build up that country you feel me yeah. Like instead of trying to fight for a country that everybody don't want to see. Oh wow. But That's very well said. I, like that. <laughs> I feel like Nigeria is the most popular uh, African country, yes. but we'll see as we go. If you had any message to Africans, what would that be? Hey, power to the people and just keep your head up, man. You feel me? They can't fight an older black man or woman down. You feel me? Oh, That's it. I love that. Thank you. Yeah. Alright. Oh, Have a good day, man. <laughs> Shout out to Hey, you. Uh, tell them the channel. Oh, my name is Miss Trudy. My channel is Miss Trudy. Hey, put it in my yeah. and just subscribe too. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Another 20 years in Africa. If they keep doing what they're doing right now, another 20 years. So you've been keeping up? America, Europe, all the countries all right. out there are going to be begging just to kiss Africa's ass. That's true. What? No. I love that. Yeah. Yeah. 20 years just yeah. watch. Yeah. As long as they keep fighting for themselves and not everybody else, stop fighting for everybody else. Fight for yourself, Africans. Fight for yourself. Everybody else can kiss your ass. 20 years? 20 years? You guys, your money, your denomination, your, your religion, your history will be in every school. Just wait and see. Just wait and see. Thank you for sharing. They won't hide it no more. They won't hide it no more. They're going to be like, hey, uh, you know, the world really did start in Africa. Yeah, yeah, you know. They really didn't have the blonde hair and the, and the blue eyes. They were really black. They was they were really black. Um, can you tell your black people I'm cool? Like, they <laughs> start saying that. They doing it right they now. They start saying that. Yo, they, they do that in this country Just right wait. now. I want to see white people say, "Look, man, I get my social security. I get my my section eight. I don't care about nobody else. Look at them black people. Look, look where they live. That's what I want to hear. That's what's up. I want to hear. I'm sick and tired of trying to look at what they're doing and trying to be like them. I'm tired of trying to be like them when their entire history has been trying to be like us. Wow. Yep. Oh my God. Their whole history has been trying to be like us. Mm -hmm. Trying to be powerful like we were. Like we are, not we're. We just don't know our own strength right now. The problem is, look, I'm going to tell you like this, right? What we are doing right now, we are going backwards in our own evolution, in our own history, in our own We're going backwards. We de-evolving. The reason why? Because we think this European lifestyle is so freaking great. It isn't. Our history, the Caribbean, Africa, we don't send our parents to a nursing home. They stay there until they die. They stay home until they die. And they get buried in the We backyard. take care of our aunts. Yeah. We take care of our uncles. Right. We take care of everybody home. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Here, uh, mama forgot my birthday. Nah, send her home. Send, send, her, send her over there. Send her over there. We ain't gonna even gotta see her no more. We don't live like that. No. Um, thank you.
Thank you too. All right. All right. Take Whoa. care, my brother. That was awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't wait Good. to hear. Yeah, I can't wait to hear what more people have to say. Especially the second Especially guy. Especially the first guy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The first guy was cool, but then the second guy went hard. I was yeah. like, yeah. Yeah. And that was the quiet one. That was the one that wasn't saying much. Yeah, he was waiting for his opportunity. Hey, y'all remember me? I'm back at it again, checking effect. We're here at uh, Lincoln Mall in Miami Beach. It's called Lincoln Mall. This is a strip, high foot traffic. The beach is straight ahead. This is a, mostly a spot where you can find um, restaurants, clothing stores, and sometimes they have little performances out here. So this is where we're at right now. South Beach, Miami, you already know. We're in Miami, baby. Yeah. <laughs> Miami from Nigeria. Yeah. Miami. Nigeria. Miami. Nigeria to Miami. Who am I? Yeah. I'm Taya, I know. I'm a... Uh, I make videos. You used to be Nigerian, but I'm Nigerian. You used I'm to be still Nigerian. Nigerian, but I have a dual citizenship now. I'm from Nigerian, and I'm from the Caribbean too. You know, oh, and now we're here nice. in Miami, chilling. And chilling. I'm here with two wonderful creators too, and we're just hanging out and we're having so much fun. So yeah, you guys watch, watch, watch. We're gonna watch. show you some dope shit. And subscribe. <laughs> Yeah, subscribe. Yeah, Very yeah. Cool Miami, you can charge up for free, bro. Oh, oh yeah, you can just oh, come in. Store. Charge your phone. Wow. Charge, you charge the camera right here. For free. Guys, look at this. Vaccinated and ready to. <laughs> you see that? I got. I'm gonna get me one of these shirts for my buddy. I gotta ask for one of these shirts, man, for sure. My name is Trudy. Uh, nice to meet you. What's your name? Valentine. Valentine. What do you think of Africa? Africa. I mean, I think it's a cool. Uh, I've been in Africa actually. Really? I'm not even lying, but I, it was just a scale to Dubai. Mm. Uh, so Ethiopia. Okay, so did you get into the airport? Yeah, for a day. Just one day. Oh, okay. What do you think about the country? It's cool. I mean, people are really nice. I mean, compared to America, I mean, I mean, America is fucking crazy. So. Uh, it is. Yeah. What do you mean crazy? I mean, just people are bizarre, you know. <laughs> but it's cool. Oh, okay. Um, which country would you wanna visit in Africa? Or what is the one place you've heard about the most? And what have you heard? Okay. I really wanna visit South South Africa. Why South Africa? Um, I don't know. I think it's popular. What do you think? <laughs> I think okay. it's nice. Okay. So yeah, what, what's your favorite part of uh, uh, Kenya. Kenya? I'm Kenyan. Oh. Yeah, you should visit Kenya. It's so beautiful. Every country has something to offer. You know, Nigeria, Kenya, Ghana, South Africa. Yeah, but uh, yeah. I'm South from, Africa I'm is also from Nigeria. Nigeria. She's from Kenya. Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah, I'm surprised yeah, you don't hear about Nigeria. Though. You know how to Nigeria? <laughs> Nigeria is more popular than oh, really? South Africa. Are you sure? Yes. So we should stay. <laughs> Nigeria is more popular than South This guy probably listens to I'm a piano, that's why. What? <laughs> I'm you know a piano? piano? It's a, so it's a music uh, genre. Yeah. Definitely, I, lo I love people from Africa better than Americans. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Hello, how are you? Hi. What's the video again? Sorry. Um, I am asking Americans what they think of Africa. Oh, what I think about them? Um, I like your, I like your songs. You like our songs? Yeah, like um, the Afro beats. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Afro beats is originally from Nigeria. It is Nigerian. Oh, okay. Yeah. Is it nice up there? Yeah, it is. It's nice. Yeah, okay. yeah, it's it's Dubai, yeah. yeah one day. Um, anything else you've heard about Africa? Um, I don't really know too much, but I, like I said, I just like the songs. Yeah, that. just the songs. That's nice. Yeah, Afrobeat is really big. We are so proud of uh, these artists because they are putting Africa on the map. Like, we know about Africa because of Afrobeat, so that's really cool. Yeah, yeah. So, thank you so much for your time. Bye. Their main, one of the main things Cubans like is coffee, and they like they have Cuban sandwich. I don't eat pork, so I ain't. Because I'm from here, yeah. but it sucks because a lot of people from the United States don't know they much don't, about Africa, they don't bro. Know much. That's why, like me having mostly American subscribers and Canadian yeah. doing African content puts it on the map. On the map, it yeah. makes it look like, like, damn, check! I didn't know it was developed. I didn't know this. I didn't know that. Yeah, so yeah. me going to Africa helps because most of my subscribers are from from US, from US, oh, US, hold Canada. Up, hold That's up, beautiful man. Yeah. Well, I just realized you're American, right? Yeah, most yeah, of them. Let us know. What do you think of Africa? <laughs> As an <laughs> um, have you been to Africa before? Yes, I have been to Africa. Nigeria, Ghana, South Africa, 
uh, uh, Ethiopia, Egypt, Kenya, it's TZ. Oh wow. Uh, I think that's it. That's uh, so many countries. And Morocco. So what do you think of Africa? I tell I say this all the time, especially when I first came there. They think everybody is poor, they think everybody living in huts, they think everything is dirt roads. But it's not their fault, it's what we were taught. Being young, we were taught that. Who taught you? Um, and well, and what they didn't technically what they showed us on TV was that. So once Africa comes in TV, they show us that. So it, it stuck. It was stuck in our head because that's what we saw. And then when a person like me, being from US, traveled to Africa and showed most of my uh, followers, subscribers, how Africa is. Now a lot of people are learning, and because of social media, things are getting different. People are starting to go to Africa. But I love Africa. I love. I'm a piano. I love. Afro beats. I love the vibe. I love Kenya. I love. Uh, uh, also, I like South Africa. That's one of my top favorites. My top three is Ghana, South Africa, and Kenya. Oh, nice. Um, what is the biggest lie you were told about Africa as an American? The biggest lie I was told about Africa. The biggest lie I was told about Africa is, I hate. Uh, excuse me when I say this. Uh, everyone is poor and everyone is sick. Wow. Like we were. They tell us that a lot of people in Africa are sick. That's wow. not true. So. What sickness? Uh, HIV. What? I mean <laughs> God have mercy upon us. <laughs> I mean, anybody who's from US is watching it know I'm not lying. Really? Yeah. Yeah. So they say maybe in Africa have HIV? That's what they say. That's crazy. You know, that's new. What do it's, you mean? It's, those are things to make people not go. Oh. Like if you tell people all the bad stuff and not the good, then they won't go. So they tell guys in the US that Af Africans have AIDS so they get scared of Africa. It's the biggest in HIV. The and, biggest in HIV? Yeah, the biggest in HIV and also when they had the uh, Ebola, uh -huh. they said it's everybody there got Ebola. So, what? so that's, that's why I want to... That's exaggerated. When, yeah, they exaggerate. So when you see American, black American, are hesitant about it don't feel bad just think of what the media put in their head wow that's why those media won't show you videos do so good wow yeah. but that's why we need people like you you know you're american yeah. but you've traveled to africa and you've seen the other side i've seen the other side and, and you can come back to america and tell them you know it's not really what they say it is exactly that's so, what, that's exactly why i'm glad that's why i don't want to leave that's why i said you know what i could go other places but i want to continue doing africa content yeah. You know, and show people because majority of my majority of people who watch me checking effect is my analytics is Canada, United States, England, Australia, uh, all big time American speaking countries. Wow. So when they see it, I actually have people that's hitting me up consultations to go to Africa. So I've had probably at least 30 people. Oh wow. Yeah, because of me, because of my channel. So I, on behalf of all Africans, I just want to say thank you nah, nah, for showing nah. the beautiful side of Africa because one thing. Where's Tayo? Tayo is Tayo is working. Okay. Uh, one a, thing he's doing a real. One thing I really hate about you know some white Americans when they come to Africa they show the worst side of Africa. The worst side. The it, worst mm -hmm, side. And mm -hmm. then it's like come on now. Yeah. We have better side. You want to say something? I didn't want to cut you off, but my videos I show good, bad, and ugly. But I've been focusing a little bit more on the good in Africa just because it's unfair. Because every big Africa video that blow up is always a slum. And it's unfair. So I did a lot of rich. I did a lot of nice areas. I said, you know what? I'm going to be a little bit, I'm going to do more nice than bad. Just because bad is always doing, it's always the biggest thing in Africa anyway. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, no worries. Guys, you like, see the uh, kind of cars you come across in Miami. You still want to be nice? You still want to look good, but you can't afford the ride? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I know Miami is all about that luxury lifestyle, man. You gotta look good. You know, we'll here. Everything here is just about that lifestyle. You gotta look uh, and, 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 and look expensive. That's why you pull up all the ladies be like, oh! <laughs> <laughs> all three of us are walking really fast. I don't know why we're doing that, bro. <laughs> I don't know why we're walking fast. We are like, definitely trying to keep up with one person. Like I don't know who that is. Maybe my. <laughs> no, no, I think it's a YouTuber thing. Yeah, where it's yeah, like yeah. It's a you're trying to get to the next place because you know you have limited time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> How are you doing? 
Who are you? My, I'm good. My name is Trudy, and I'm asking Americans what they think of Africa. You understand, right? You understand me? ¿Qué tú piensas de África? Oh, África es un gran continente, es muy, muy interesante. Me gustaría mucho conocer porque me siento atraído por ese continente. Oh, where would you want to visit in Africa? ¿Dónde tú quieres visitar en África? Todo. Congo, Todo. desde el sur del África hasta el norte, hasta, hasta la frontera. Morocco. Yeah. Oh, why? why? ¿Por qué? Porque es... <laughs> es porque naturaleza, mucho, mucha diversidad de animales y la raza y ustedes, la raza. Because the race that he likes oh, the, the color. The color. Oh, you color. love our skin color. La raza negra y la raza india son las más fuertes que hay. But this guy is Indian. Yeah. You're Indian? Yeah, he's yeah. native. He's native. He's native. Yeah. You're American Indian? Yes. Oh, nice. So the black and the Indian race are the strongest race? Lo, me, lo más Fuerte. Fuerte. The, 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 that's why. Do you have any message for uh, Indians and Black people? What would that be? Propia identidad. Que nunca quieran ser blancos ni quieran ser. No. Que que amen nuestra su cultura porque ustedes y nosotros somos fuertes. A race. Sí. Mm -hmm. a, a race. A lot of diversity. Uh, a lot. Uh, the, the greenery. The nature, yeah, like, like yeah. herbs and all that. It's very really deep. So you're telling us to love who we are. Don't Ama eat como tu eres. Oh yes. my God, that is very deep. The black love, race and the saying, Indian, love and the you Indian are. race um, is the most skin, know that strong. That's amazing, amazing message. Thank you so much. Fantastic. Ella dice eso es fantastic. 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 Yeah. 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 Gracias. God bless you. Uh, you too. too. Oh. We are at the beach. And, uh, now we're going. We've been walking. Now we're going inside. You never change your identity. Uh, uh, keep. Uh, don't don't be ashamed of your race. We're trying to see what black a Americans lot of people, people so of a lot of people uh, are trying to not just black Americans. I'm so sorry. Mix in, 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 mix all the habitation, everything that, you know, mm -hmm. I've learned about, um, that's where it come from. Um, I know they try to portray it over here in America as kind of poverty and stuff. But it's, it's actually very rich. Yeah, very rich. So that's rich. what they do here? Yeah. What do they say Ooh. about Africa? I mean, they just... That it's poor. Yeah, like they show, you know, the... The worst. Poor, yeah, the worst, the poor kids really? and stuff like that. And yeah, they have a really, uh, like a bad... You guys don't believe that, do you? No, nah, I don't. Definitely not. But I guess many Americans believe that. Probably so. So you've not been to Africa before? Never. I want to go to. Where would you want to visit? Uh, probably Nigeria. Mom, yeah. <laughs> <In> Nigeria. <laughs> That's what's up, bro. Yeah, my, my mom, she uh, she she's supposed to be going to Africa, uh, as well. Her uh, fiance. Fiance is at Nigeria. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's dope. Yeah, it's pretty fire. Yeah. So Africa is actually beautiful, and when you when you visit, you might not want to come back. Right. You might not be as developed as America, but you are naturally beautiful, and our people have big hearts. Yes. Yeah. I can tell. That's, and not all amazing. of us are sick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they, they say, many oh, yeah, of us are sick. Have, they say yeah, not that. all of us are sick. Just a few, you know? Right. I mean, it's, it's like here, you know? It's just like sick. here. It's yeah. just like any yeah. other country in the world. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. That's what's up. That's so what's nice up. Yeah. But, you, but you know what's, I'm, I'm sorry, you know what's so funny is Brazil is the second most black mm -hmm. and guess what they say brazil has the most also it seems like anywhere that's yeah it looks yeah, like anywhere that has many more. black people mm -hmm. yeah. they say we are we are sick or we are poor no. remember ebola yep <laughs> yeah it's crazy i know it's just the agenda yeah. but you know we're actually very powerful and they don't want to you know yeah. us to know exactly yeah. what we inherited what we've you know been entrusted with so this is powerful conversation man yeah. appreciate y'all yeah. being y'all yeah i went to east africa and i was there for like three months so that let wow. you know if i didn't like it i would not be there three yeah, months much, yeah. yeah we gotta go there we gotta <laughs> yeah. yeah man yeah. check it out for sure it out. all right do. guys thank you so much thank you so much y'all nice to meet y'all yeah. who's first her, her. Hi, how are you doing? I'm good. <laughs> I'm fine. My name is Trudy. What's your name? Hi, I'm Jolie. Oh, nice. Um, I'm African, and I want to know what do Americans think of Africa? I am not African. I'm Caribbean. Um, I've always been really interested in Africa. 
Um, I really want to go to Senegal. There's like a really incredible, like booming art community there um, right Senegal? now. Senegal? Yeah. Oh, wow. Um, okay. Apparently that's like, also, let me say this before I say my next thing, but um, Africa is going to have like most of the young people in the world um, very soon. So I think that it's like really amazing and that um, there's going to be like a lot of incredible stuff happening in Africa oh. very soon. Um, and like there will finally be some like notoriety about it, which is amazing and very important. Yeah. Okay, uh, I've been to Senegal before. It's an amazing place. I'm sure you love it. <laughs> other than Senegal, do you know of any other African country that you'd want to visit? Um, well, my roommate is from Eritrea, so I'd like to visit oh, Eritrea. Really? <laughs> yes. I'm from Kenya. They are right there. They are neighbors. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> any message you'd want to send Africans or Americans who want to visit Africa? Um, I guess like don't always believe what you see in the media. Um, I what do they like, say on the media? I feel like so many American media um, to the Africa is like not a place that you should visit. Really? Why? Definitely. I don't know. It's a really good question. That's crazy. <laughs> it's a really good question. But um, yeah, just don't listen to what you hear all the time. Don't listen to what you hear. Thank you so much for your time. No problem. Who's next? <laughs> <laughs> I'm African. You're, oh, nice. Mm -hmm. but I'm you the living? roommate. <laughs> oh, you're it's the roommate. Yeah. Oh, you're from Eritrea? Yeah, but I grew up in Uganda. Oh, you grew up in Uganda? Yeah. Oh, okay, wow. so how long have you been here? I've literally less than a year. Less than a year? Yeah. Okay, then what do you here. miss most about Africa? Um, the sun, I guess. <laughs> the sun? <laughs> the food. <laughs> and the food. Everything. <laughs> okay, uh, do you want to say anything to Eritreans watching? Um, love you guys. Shout out to my Eritrean and my Ugandan. Oh, thank you. There's no wrong answer, just let y'all know. So you can say whatever you want. Awesome. Yeah, I've never yeah. met anybody from Eritrea before. Yeah. 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 Hi. Yeah. First time. <laughs> um, I you mind? Yeah, I can. Yeah. Okay, can you come back? Up next. <laughs> All right. Hello. Hi. Hi. Uh, you American? Um, I'm Colombian. Um, what you live in the States? I live in the States, yeah. Oh, nice. Um, yeah. What have you heard about Africa? Um, so I'm in college right now. I'm actually taking a class um, called History of Pre-Colonial Africa. Um, and we're talking, obviously, about like Africa before it was colonized. Um, and it's a very interesting class. I'm enjoying it very much. Um, my teacher's from Ghana. Um, oh, your teacher's from Ghana? Yeah. I live in Ghana. Yeah, yeah. my teacher's ah. from Ghana. He's, he's amazing. <laughs> but I'm, I love literature. I read a lot of books. Um, and even before this class, Achebe and Adichie were two of my favorite authors. So I would love to visit Nigeria. Wow. Uh, Ooh, yeah. He's from Nigeria. Nigeria. He's from Nigeria. <laughs> That's he's so from Nigeria. Cool. Yeah, yeah, I would love to visit Nigeria. When you said Achebe, you mean Chino Achebe? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah. 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 That's a really good book. Yeah. We studied it in high school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a great book. I loved it. Oh, wow. So what, what of all the things you've heard about Africa, what do you love the most? Um, I would just say like connection to spirituality. I think religion is a, in, in the United States is very different than religion in Africa. I think it's kind of become like something that's been abused here in the States, but in Africa it seems like it's something that's like deep and personal, um, which I think is rare now, especially in these days. So I'm not religious at all, but I am interested in religious studies. Um, and I think spirituality is really a beautiful part of African culture. Thank you for sharing. Yeah. Enjoy your African lessons. Thank you. And uh, I hope I hope it opens up your mind because I hear there's so many lies spread about Africa. Yeah, yeah. But if people take their time yeah, to, to educate study, themselves, absolutely. Yeah, then they're gonna see the other side yeah. that they don't know. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you. Yeah, of course. Took the chance. <laughs> Since we are hunt, we are hunting for a no and a yes. So it's, whatever, yeah. whoever we meet is no, content. I like that. I like that. <laughs> you have to like think that. about it like that way. That's hunt for a no. Damn, that's dope. <laughs> Bro, we hunt, yo, and if somebody say no, I'm like, yo, I was actually hunting for no's too. So thank you. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Hi. My name is Trudy from Africa, and I want to know what Americans think of Africa. What's your name? Rosie. Rosie. What do you think of Africa? I'd love to go. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Definitely. I've heard good things. Um, I believe my dad has been, but I, my mom has never. I've, I've never Where would you want to go? Um, I'd love to do a safari because I love animals and certain parts of northern Africa too. I mean, I don't know. I would look at flights to see what's easy. Okay. What are you told about Africa here in the States? Where you have to go? What, what is Africa? Yeah. 
Africa. Yeah, well, West Africa, Namibia. Which country? Was in South Africa? I was in Namibia, and then we. I just went to a bunch of uh, different types of safaris, and then South Africa as well. So, what, what did you think of Namibia? It's beautiful. Oh, really? I loved it there. What did you love most about it? I, I love the trees. There's so many different types of trees there that are so cool looking. Mm -hmm. uh, the people there are so nice. Oh, wow. Yeah. Is there any other African country you'd want to visit? I'm sure, I mean, all of them. There's also, I'd, I'd like to visit not just Africa, like the world in general. I love seeing different cultures. Oh. Yeah. Okay, thank you for sharing. Is there any other question you think I should ask? Uh, Where are you guys from? Yeah. I'm from Kenya, he's from Ghana, but he's a local. I'm from Nigeria. Nigeria. Oh, okay. <laughs> really? I'm from uh, Ghana. Uh, so she's just thinking about what they might have. Yeah. I'm from Nigeria, she's from Kenya. Kenya. Just, what do you think about Miami? Oh, oh yeah. I love it. Dude, I like that. Okay. <laughs> so I, I love the weather. Yeah. I really, the weather is the best thing about Miami for me, and it's clean and organized and developed. I think the weather in Miami is it's very similar to the weather we have in West I think Africa. So, too. It's the yeah. same thing, actually. Same kind of place because I don't like cold places. I'm so scared of snow. Yeah, yeah me too. It gets so cold. Yeah. So you're originally from Miami? Uh huh. Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. Thank you so much for Thank you. Time. Thank you so much. Have a good time. Yeah. Have a good time. Yeah. 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 Doing a video asking Americans what they think of Africa. Do you mind? Oh, yeah. That's okay. Yeah. Margarita. Hi. How are you? Hey Trudy! Oh! <laughs> you feel like you know me? Yes! Um, I want to know, uh, what's your name? My name is Pia. Pia, uh, have you been to Africa before? I have, I've been to really? Zimbabwe and oh, South Africa. Oh, what took you to Africa? Oh my goodness, long story short, <laughs> I won a writing contest with the Daily News. Oh, nice. So, when I was 16, I was sponsored uh, for a week. So what do you think of Africa? I love Africa, that's the motherland. Oh yeah? Hello. Yeah. So have you been to any other country apart from Zimbabwe? No, unfortunately not, but I'm planning to go back. Uh, what did you love most about Zimbabwe? Oh God, the people. Mm -hmm. They embrace me. Mm -hmm. They love me. As soon as I stepped off the plane, well that was in South Africa. It was a little different there, but in Zimbabwe, um, they were so great. Ethiopia is in Africa, and we right? bought um, all the all the kids were required to bring like a suitcase full of like up toiletries, things that the kids could use, the village people could use, um, and we did that, and they loved us for it. They showed so much gratitude and us to them as well. Okay, um, what, what, how was your experience in South Africa? South Africa was a little different. I felt like. They didn't embrace us as much. Oh, really? Yeah. Um. But again, this was many years ago. It could have changed. Mm -hmm. Um. I don't know. I just felt like maybe we were kind of like big blacks. Oh. Yeah. I got that little vibe. But again, I was a kid. Um, thank you so much for your time. I appreciate it. If you have any message to, to any American who wants to go to Africa but is scared, what would that be? Enlighten yourself. Do it. You want to experience the world, especially the motherland. Thank you. Thank you so much. Of course. Hey, do you mind? <laughs> I don't mind, that's fine. <laughs> yeah. Cool. You can just... Hi. Hi. Um, uh, my name is Trudy. What's your name? Hi, Trudy. Stana. Oh, nice. I'd like to know what Americans think of Africa. I think it's amazing. Have you been there? I have. Really? Yeah. Where did you go? Let's see. I've been to South Africa, Morocco, Tanzania, mm. Zanzibar, Tanzania. Nice. Uh, what was the most memorable thing for you that happened in Africa? Oh my gosh, a few things. I think in South Africa, just I was taken aback by how my blackness was challenged really? in South Africa. Yeah, that was one of the things that I walked away with. I did that challenge first time. how. Um, they kept telling me I was colored and explaining the separation between black and colored, etc. And then people were trying to touch my hair. It was a longer than and asking like, is it yours? And how did you get it to be like that? And so it was the first time they kept saying, you're not really, you're not black. And so that was the first time I experienced that. And that was in South Africa. It's okay. It was an interesting learning experience and even just educating the folks who were asking me those questions. Um, but that was very different than Tanzania where I walked away and I came trying to tell everybody like it's way more beautiful than people assume and um, from Zanzibar to the little sand uh, bars and uh, I think I spent a day on Pemba Island I think it was called just just gorgeous and the markets and the life and the, the nightlife that um, just a full experience and Morocco was just a very different experience than being South African and Tanzania but 
it's just so much to offer and it's different depending on where you go and not thinking of Africa as just one place, the continent, but just a wealth of different experiences and cultures and things. Mm -hmm. yeah. Would you go back to Africa? Without question. I'm ready. <laughs> okay. I want to go to Arusha. <laughs> I want to see so much Zimbabwe, the Victoria Falls. Nice. I want to see a lot. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Thank, Thank you. you so much. No problem. <laughs> Thank you. No, that was dope. Okay, now I just need a no, man. <laughs> I don't, but it's okay. You don't want to be on camera? No, yeah, we'll pass. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. No yeah. Hey, hey, hey. Finally. <laughs> oh, you got, you got a no. Yeah, you got a no. Yeah. I'm gonna start getting no's on my camera. <laughs> no, actually, I did get some no's on my camera, Hello. but you know. Hi. Hey. Hey. My name is Juha. Uh, I'm from Africa. Oh, and I'm from Australia. Oh. Okay. I wanted to ask what you think of Africa. Have you been to Africa before? Yes. I, I was born in North Africa. Oh, really? Which country? Uh, in Morocco. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, nice. When's the last time you were in Morocco? From one year ago. One year ago. One year ago? Yes. Okay, what do you love most about Morocco? Uh, there's too much people from Central Africa living in Morocco now. Oh, really? Uh, yes. Morocco is very, very mixed uh, from people from Central Africa, from North Africa. Really, the lifestyle is for these people is very bad. Okay. Oh, it's bad? Very bad. The lifestyle of people in Morocco is bad? Very bad. It's very bad. See. Why? What do they do? They have uh, work, she don't have anything, they don't have oh, money, don't have Oh, work. there's no work, there's no money, this there's nothing in Morocco. Everything is nothing in Morocco oh, also. There's nothing because in Morocco. they come to feed people, many people come to Morocco and she wants to go in another side to, to Spain or to Europe. Oh. The beach and a few, uh, got a lot of people. Unfortunately, some white people just don't want to answer questions about Africa, guys. <laughs> Let's see if you can talk to that white woman. Yes. Say no. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm asking a very challenging question. Yeah. Do you mind the time of the Well, I don't know a lot about different parts of Africa. Uh, you know, some parts of Africa. Okay, which parts are those? I know South Africa. I know the deep. It's Ella, Ella, Liberia. 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 Kenya. Oh, that's where I'm from. Oh, how are you? Yeah. yeah. So you've been to Africa before? No, I haven't. I had a trip I was supposed to go on and then I became very good. Oh, so I sorry about that. Yeah. What have you had about Africa? Different cultures of within Africa, people don't appreciate that. Mm -hmm. They don't understand all the different areas and how things develop separately, religiously, and then traditions. And I think it's hard because they don't teach enough of it in school. Yeah. They don't teach enough of anything they don't, in school. They don't, they don't teach about Africa in American schools, right? Not as much, and they don't teach about many other countries anymore either. I think they- It's just about America. Uh, yeah, but they, the, the, the children don't learn enough about their own history. I, it's very uh, interesting, because I have five children, so. Oh, wow. Yeah. And, one is Guatemala and our last child is, is adopted, but even to learn about Guatemala, I had to learn about Guatemala, but when I was a younger child, I went to Australia for a year and I learned more in Australia about more countries oh, wow. than in the one year I lived there in their history class, but they have to study the world differently, so I just think it's, it's, you know, it's a great thing to know more about it. Thank you for asking. Thank you. Are you enjoying your, your time on the beach? Yeah, I am. Oh, that's good. How about you? Yeah, it's my yeah. first time in, or second time in Miami, yeah. actually. I'm still. Well, it's multicultural for sure. I'm yeah. from Pennsylvania, but when you come here, everybody's from somewhere else. Yeah, and true. It's very easy to meet people. Meet people, They're friendly. yeah. Well, yeah. good luck. Good yeah. Call, thank you. Thank you. Hi, do you have my phone? No. Oh my god. Where did you put it? I don't know. With which guys? Jesus, no, no, no. When no. was the last time you had it? I don't know. I go to find oh my, my phone. You Find my phone out. Shit. You don't remember the last time you had it? I just remember I was holding it and I was talking to someone. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.
Do you want to check? Uh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you left it there? <laughs> you left it there. Wow. That would have been a video. Lost my phone in Miami. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I did. Oh, man, that's love. I did. <laughs> you love. That's love. That's gonna... Yeah. I did. That's epic. Okay, so Do you tell them uh, thank you and how you feeling? You yeah, feel thank like thank you. I'm, I'm relieved, man. I have so much. I was already here. scared for you. Yeah, I think we should uh, go tell it's the Spanish. See, bring your lamp put it inside my bag. For yeah, you. we don't want to lose it twice. <laughs> Guys, this has been us in Miami Beach. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have, please make sure you subscribe. We are heading to half a million subscribers. Join the family, man. Until next time, bye. I'm so glad your phone was left at with those ladies. Yeah. We were somewhere else. Oh my God, it will be gone. Yeah. Gone. I don't know where it's gone. But I feel like if, mm. if, if you leave something valuable in a place where it's most people who are, yeah, because most of these guys they have money. Yeah, I, I, this is what I would say. Yeah. yeah, if we was if she had left it at Lincoln Road, yeah, where we was at, it'll be gone. It'll be gone. Yeah. Really? The beach? the beach is most likely it's not going to be gone. Those people are laying down and enjoying themselves, exactly, relaxing. So they're not stealing phones. Stealing phones. Yeah, <laughs> but that wow. beach is random people walking. Yeah, random people walking. So if they see it, and it's yeah, they yeah, see it, they'll take it. Yeah, it was wow. a good spot. It was a good place. You left. You left it. On the yeah, really good spot. Yeah. Oh God, man. Yeah. Hello. Hello. What's your name? Uh, they call me King B, but my name is Berwin. <laughs> um, what do you think of Africa? I love Africa. It's the motherland. Okay. Africa, from what we know, is where the original life started. You hear me? Mm -hmm. Have you been to Africa before? Never been, but I gotta visit. Oh, gotta where go. would you wanna visit? Uh, maybe Nigeria, Ghana, oh. Kenya, like the different spots that I've heard people talk about. Mm -hmm. I'd probably start there. What do you think of African women? African women are the closest thing to God. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> Why do you say that? Because they're the center of life, you hear me? Is All it because of how um, they're so beautiful, their skin, their shape, or what? I mean, the beauty, the mannerism, the understanding of self. And the fact that that's where life come through, you mm -hmm. feel me? Yeah. And when I go visit Africa, I'm gonna be sure to go get myself an African queen. I need that. <laughs> Gotta go out there and find my queen. You know okay, me? that's what's up. I think everything that the blacks here in the U.S. are missing culturally is connected to at least educating themselves about Africa, the origins, mm -hmm. where it all came from. You feel me? Yeah. Because other than that, we just we watered down everything. Our strength is in, you know, our originality, our authenticity. Like everything is taking precedent, especially with technology. You feel me? Mm -hmm. There's things that I'm sure Africans did, you know, culturally, traditionally that we've lost, you know, yep. in time and travel and being displaced. So that's deep. Definitely got to visit Africa at some point. Like when you're in Africa, the first thing most people they, they like they they find out what type of tribe they are, right? Like Kikui or Lo or Yoruba, Igbo, whatever. And for us, we don't even know what part of that. We don't even know what tribe. We don't know nothing. Crazy. nothing. We don't know anything. I don't know what we just. Sometimes we just go off of looks. Or oh, you look like you could be Yoruba. You know what I'm saying? We don't know. All right. This All right. My my. Uh, I got a friend of mine. Uh, Tibus. He uh, recently traveled to Africa to make the comparison about how Haitian voodoo and African, you know, spirituality and voodoo is tied in. What's the similarities? And he's, he's about to drop the documentary. He, it's the same thing. He, yeah, he went over there and 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 filmed, you know, the little uh, ceremonies and and it's yeah. a, it's alike. I mean, it's the same. It's the exact same thing. It's just what they practiced in Africa before. They took them away as slaves, and that's what they now started to practice in Haiti. I've done a video on the voodoo religion in Benin, Benin Republic before. It's the exact same thing. Exact same. <laughs> the exact same. Haitian, most and Haitians are definitely from West Africa. Yeah, for sure. And then you see the food, like, you know that, what what y'all call that uh, thing that looked like mashed potato? Fufu. Fufu. <laughs> I think Asians <laughs> call it tum tum or fufu. Oh, really? And they, yeah, same thing. <laughs> so it's like, even from the food, uh, 
the, the practices, you know, it's all like culturally tied in. You'd have to be blind not to acknowledge that. 